The Last Wolf by Minnie Gray. Wanted a wolf. If you see one, tell Red. One day, Little Red put on her hunting hat and boots, flung her pop gun on her back, packed up her lunchbox with some supplies, and said to her mom, I'm off to catch a wolf. That's all right, thought Red's mom to herself. There hasn't been a wolf around here for at least a hundred years. Good luck, Red, she said, and don't be late for tea. Red went to stalking through the forest. She lurked behind a tree and jumped out on a bin bag. She slithered through the bracken and pounced on a tree stump. Red wandered deeper into the forest. It grew shadowy and she lost her path. There were wooling noises and grabby twigs. Red started to run. She ran and tripped. But what was this? Some sort of door? She tried the doorknob and knocked and banged. And the door was opened by the last wolf in the land. The last wolf was living in a cosy tree cave along with the last lynx and the last bear. You must be a human child, said the last wolf. I've never seen one up close before. Come in and sit down. You're just in time for tea. I didn't know wolves drank tea, said Red. There may be quite a few things you don't know, said the last wolf. They gave Red a cup of tea and told her about the good old days. When there were endless miles of forest to run through and a thousand tasty grazing beasts to bite. When the world was awash with flowers and bees and dripping with honey. When you could just lie on a branch and wait for lunch to wander right under your paws. Nowadays, Catching a square meal is a difficult business. The pickings are slim and the packaging is hard to get into. They looked longingly at Little Red. My, what huge hungry eyes you all have, she said. And out of her lunchbox she took a hard boiled egg, a sausage roll, a chicken sandwich and an apple. It's not very fast on its feet, this egg, said the wolf. It's quite easy to catch this sausage roll, said the bear. The last lynx chased the chicken sandwich round and round the cave until it was wounded. Red ate the apple and wondered how she could help. But it had grown late. It's getting dark, said Red, and I need to go. My mum will be starting to miss me. She thought of the shadowy wild wood that was waiting outside. I think, said the last wolf, we'd better walk with you till you find your path. So Little Red and the last wolf and the last bear and the last lynx wound their way back through the last woods that were left. Until they reached the very last tree and saw the lights of Red's home and her mom missing her. Don't forget your lunchbox, said the last bear. Goodbye, you wild things, said Red. I think I know what you need. But they had already gone. After dinner, Red's mum found a sign on Red's bedroom door. Wanted. More trees, please. If you see some, tell Red. Well, we better make some, said Red's mum. All you need is a seed, some earth, sun, air, water and for a really wonderful tree, about a hundred years. One day these trees will be amazing. <laughs>